Hello there, Simon from Studio Asus Paid. Today I'm just going to quickly demonstrate what I just explained about cleaning out that massive dynamite font um, in order to remove some of the grunge effects that are on it. So as you can see, I'm in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to quickly create a new document, 15 by 15, RGB is fine. We, it's just to demonstrate that problem. So I'm going to start by just typing uh, what we're interested to type, which is lost and taken in that massive dynamite font. So lost, oops, lost and taken. Um, let's make that bigger. Let's switch it to massive dynamite. Here it is. So as you can see, it's definitely like grunge or speckles all over, and this is really not what we're trying to, um, like, it's, it looks great and convincing, but the problem is it, it would look much more better, and I love to have much more control on what is getting grunge, what is not getting grunged out when what I'm working on. So, as I said in my little five steps process, I'm just writing this, I'm clicking on it, doing a right click, create outlines, uh, and now it becomes an outlined object. So I'm going to zoom in on loss just to show you like the the, the essence of the process. Um, as you can see here, it's a solid black object with no outline. So now I'm going to reverse that. So now it's a, a transparent object with um, just like strokes a stroke around it. And uh, how big that stroke is doesn't matter. Actually, the thinner the better because like that we can just see where the, the things are. So um, let's zoom in better on the L. And now it's really simple. I just take the direct selection tool, which is that little guy here, or you can just press A on your keyboard. And I'm just going to start deleting all those little selecting and deleting all the little paths that are, that are forming the speckles and, and um, grunge elements on the font. Um, and you can select more than, than one at a time by just um, get, getting a big selection. And here, if you press if you press Shift, you can just like keep selecting, adding to your first selection, which is what I'm going to do because this needs to go fast because there's not just one letter to to edit. So and see here, like if I now if I reverse again, um, you can see that the L is way more clean like the edges are not clean which is perfect because then we can just like emphasize the uncleanness of the edges later on and make it look like the, the uh, when the loss and taking got printed like let's say with an old letterpress or something like that the ink wasn't totally uh, well um, uh, spread all over and stuff like that so yeah so and it's the same process exactly the exact same process for all the letters and so on and so on so I hope that definitely helped you like to get the, the essence of that and let's go back to the rest of our poster.